Joining me now in his first interview since that memo came out, Eric Yuan. He's the founder and CEO of Zoom. He's got a Zoom background up right there. Eric, what happened in the past few weeks? Uh, is this just a situation where your, your service, your startup grew astronomically a lot more quickly than you imagined it would? I think you're right. You know, our service was built to serve business and a lot of enterprise customers. However, during this uh, COVID-19 crisis, we moved too fast. Our intention to serve the end users of the K-12 schools. However, we, we, have, we had some missteps. We should have done something in force, password and waiting room and double check every server settings. But over the past uh, one week and uh, two weeks, we all took actions to fix those missteps. Because the new users, new user case is very different to our traditional business and enterprise customers where they have IT team to support. And then what about when I, when I take my three-year-old to preschool on Zoom and she sees all her friends? Is that connection secure or can other people spy on it? No, that connection is secure. Make sure but you enable your password and make sure others they cannot you know, uh, hack into the meeting and make sure you enable the meeting room, uh, waiting room feature. I think we have all of the security features built in. And however, we need to focus on education. We should enforce those settings for the brand new users, especially for consumers. And that's what we have done recently. Mm. What are the most interesting uses of Zoom that you've seen in the past few weeks? To me, it's these religious services. Today is Palm Sunday, Passover is coming up, Ramadan is later in the month of April, and we're seeing so many houses of worship hold services on Zoom. Yeah, that's right. We, uh, we received a lot of uh, you know, new user cases. This is one of them, like a happy hour as well, and all kinds of uh, new user cases. But the user base are very different to our traditional enterprise customers. You know, there's also been, uh, speaking of enterprise customers, the New York City Board of Education said it's not going to have schools use Zoom because of the concerns about privacy and security. Are you seeing a lot of those cases of people all of a sudden backing out and not using the platform? No, actually, you know, we are still in the process to work, uh, work together with New York, school, uh, uh, New York schools because they are re-evaluating that to make sure we do already, you know, enforce those security settings, make sure Zoom bombing, uh, bombing will not happen again. We are still in the process to work together with them. So you're working on it. Uh, and Eric, what's the most important yeah. thing users should know? Uh, Zoom, we, we take actions quickly, and we had some missteps over the past two weeks, and our intention is good. Now we learn lesson, and we double down, triple down on privacy and security before we do anything. We need to think about that. You know, rather than just you know, care about the customer, serve them, we need to take a step back, focus on privacy and security, we want Zoom to be the privacy security first company.